Okay, I'm here in my kitchen and I'm just going to do a little demonstration and show you how to boil water with an ice cube, which is kind of a strange thing to say. Uh, but what this is, is a really nice demonstration of uh, the action of vapor pressure. It also ties in really nicely to things you probably already know from MEC 309 about saturated mixtures. Uh, and so what you need I, to do this, well I thought I could just show it to you, but I thought it'd be more fun to show you how to do it in case some of you want to try it yourself. You need a bit of cling film, you need a rubber band, and a mason jar with a mason jar lid, and you want to fill the mason jar about three quarters way full. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the cling film and place it over the lid of the mason jar, put the elastic on, that's what the elastic's for, and poke a few small holes, not too many. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to boil it in a microwave, uh, I'm going to boil it for a good while, I'm going to get it to a full boil, and then I'm going to let it boil for a good minute beyond that, so that we can be sure that all of the air is out of that cavity above the, above the liquid. If it's not, if you have any air in there at all, this won't work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off here and I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, here's the fun part. Get the lid on quickly. And now we can clean this up. I should have mentioned it's handy to have a, a pair of gloves like gloves just so you can seal it up. Okay, so you can see it is what you have here now is a saturated mixture. It's quality. That is the mass fraction of vapor of that container would be quite low, right? There's a small amount of vapor relative to the mass of, of liquid. When I put the cap on, when I put the lid on, it would have been, you know, boiling at atmospheric pressure, so 100 degrees at atmospheric pressure, and then I sealed it and made it a constant volume system. So it was under the dome, right? It was saturated. And what's amazing is it will remain saturated as it cools. Let me just grab a little bit of ice and we can demonstrate the process here of boiling water with an ice cube. So what's happening now is before I put the ice cube on the pressure above the, if this is 100 degrees C, the pressure above there was one atmosphere but it's cooling rapidly and the pressure is dropping. But what happens when I put the, uh, the ice cube on the top is I disturb the equilibrium in the vapor above the liquid. Uh, that vapor is condensing onto the cold lid and reducing the pressure below the vapor pressure that corresponds to the temperature of the water and the water is boiling to try to reestablish equilibrium. And what's amazing about this and kind of fun is that it will continue to do this, it'll remain saturated all the way down to room temperature. Uh, so let me just clean this up and we'll come back in a few minutes after this is cooled and I can just demonstrate that it works. You can hold this in your hand. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. It's now quite a bit cooler. I can hold it in my hand and I should be able to demonstrate and if I put the ice cube on it, it still continues to boil. And there we go. Beautiful. Uh, it doesn't boil quite as vigorously now because, uh, you know, the pressure in... This is cooled now to maybe 50, 60 degrees C. And the pressure, the vapor pressure in the vapor cavity above the liquid is much lower. There's less mass of vapor there and it's not going to condense as rapidly as quickly onto the uh, lid, and so it doesn't disturb the equilibrium as much as it did when it was at a or very close to 100 degrees C. But it will continue to behave this way all the way down to room temperature. Of course, it'll boil less and less vigorously, and somewhere just above room temperature, uh, it can reestablish the equilibrium uh, without 
you know, big bubbles that make this quite an impressive demonstration. So I hope you found that interesting. That's a nice demonstration of, of, of vapor pressure. And uh, of course, this may be the first time you've ever seen a saturated mixture, even though you did a lot of problems in thermodynamics. So that's it. Bye for now.